So yeah, and but it was honestly the so I came home and was able to start my business. Um, and what is your business? Talk about. I refinished furniture. How the fuck did that start? So that was my hobby when I still worked at the hospital because I like to have cool shit. I like to decorate. <laughs> okay. I flipped houses. Okay. I've owned like three or five houses. Okay. And like fixed them up and made good money. How do you think I bought that? Right, right. Um, and, uh, so I used to, like, find something cool, I on night shift at the hospital, uh -huh. on Kijiji, and buy it and fix it up, mm -hmm. and sell my old shit. Oh, cool. And then my friends were like, where'd your coffee table go? <laughs> and I'm like, I sold that. And right. then I started a Facebook page, and so then when I quit my job, um, this girl said, you should start chalk painting. I, and I was like, okay. And the next day, I bought a can of chalk paint and I painted something and I sold it and just kept going. And I just kept going and I hardly ever refinish anything anymore. Yeah. Um, woven birch are the headboards that I make that I don't even have one of because <laughs> I I hardly do them anymore. Um, but so yeah, it's not like full time. Like I don't make great money like I used to, but it's just the thing you do for fun. And then, yeah, and then now I get to do music. And how did the church come about? So the church came about, I sold my duplex. I, I tried to be a landlord. I bought a fixer-upper. It was a hoarder house. It was uh, horrible. That, tell me that story. Horrible! All right. The guys from Tepperwiz were mad when, you know how they yeah, you yeah. bring your new appliances, they have to take the old one away? They were calling peppermints because they were so mad about having to remove them. And I'm like, dude, they're not mine. Oh. They're not mine. I know. They were so gross. Like, we don't even know what was rotting in them. Oh, my God. And I was like, sorry, dude. That I made sure. I kept asking when yeah, I You're going like, to pull this out, they right? They have to take them, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Shovels. We use shovels. It oh. was. It was something else, but uh, I made some money off of it. Right. Um, being a landlord is horrible. Yeah. Don't ever do that. Right. Um, that is not worth the money. Unless you're a slumlord with a 20 complex. Right. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Owner occupied was okay as long as the tenant wasn't horrible. Right. I lived there for a while. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I bought another place and rented the whole place out and. Uh, Hated it and sold it and it closed and the next night at work I went on MLS and I found this and I said I want to go see that and I messaged my realtor and she's like seriously like but she'd been through the mall with me so she was like right. nobody's gonna even bother with you anymore fine let's go look at a church right um, and we walked in the door and I sang <laughs> as soon as I walked through the door and I didn't go up in flames that's always a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, that's it. It's done. It's mine. Buy it. And uh, I had to rezone it. I didn't know I was going to be able to live here. Oh, yeah, because um, you were telling me that when you bought it, you didn't even know that you could yeah. do what you wanted to do with it, yeah, right? It was zoned um, institutional. Okay. So I wasn't even able to live here, nothing. I couldn't stay. If they said, if we know that you're staying there, like nothing. Right. Um, yeah, I cried when I went to, I had to go to the, the meeting, right? They have the meetings where people can, nobody showed up because nobody cared that I was buying it because it was bikers that were partying here. Oh. <laughs> so okay. the bikers, are, there was a stage, we took it out. Okay. Um, hindsight, maybe we should have left it in. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and they used to uh, have the bikes lined up okay. Saturday night all the way downtown Shen. So nobody, so nobody, nobody cared that you were there? No, right. and so I was like, okay, cool. Right. Um, and then that was that, and then I moved in the next weekend. So it hadn't been converted in, into anything yet? So I, I had already started the back, so okay. I basically have a one-bedroom apartment in the back. Right. So the back was started, but I hadn't started it out here yet. Right. Um, and then we ripped up the whole floor and restructured. It was rotted. The whole, it was all caving in. Okay. So the whole, there's a whole new footing around the whole thing. Hmm. That couldn't have been cheap, right? 
good thing is the guy did a whole lot of shoddy work, and I won in small claims court. <laughs> Okay, I like, the good thing is the guy did a bunch of shit work, okay, so. But basically in the end, it was like if you and me had done the work ourselves, right. like the floor is not perfect, but if you didn't have to pay the $30,000 sure. for it. Then who cares, right? Then does it, and at that point it was going to be my living room. Right. I don't know, I sit on the fence. I still have problems because of things that are going like right. wrong, but. How long have you been in here? Four years in February. I four years February. Yeah, since right. I got the keys. And it's just been full time work pretty much in here. No, oh. once like once the furniture took over like three and a half years ago, I don't do a lot of work on the building anymore. I work like a dog on the building. Right. Um, but then it but it then was it different was when it was my hobby. Right. My hobby was flipping houses and doing. Now right. my I do furniture all, I don't. Right. So now it's like my brain is like mush. <laughs> don't forget you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off the floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.